Ahol Medak Yaseh Relatives. This is part two of the <coughs> first video, The Neglect and Abuse of the Red Nation. This is Joanne Spotted Bear. I am the International Director of International Native Indian Programs. And I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you who are watching these videos and who have a desire to make change on behalf of the Red Nation so our next seven generations can live. I'd like to personally say thank you to the grandmothers and grandfathers and the Vietnam veterans of all world wars. Thank you for fighting for us to live today here on the homeland, uh, part of the great Red Nation. What I have done is filed a status of activity for a domestic nonprofit corporation. My file number is E05308420094. The International Native Indian Programs Incorporated, that means an EP. What I have done is uh, backed up what all Red Nation has said, grandmothers and grandfathers in the past and those in the present and those who will come. That is, this land is not America. It is the great red nation. <clears throat> I left off at the Howard Wheeler Act and trading with the enemy. What I'd like to go into next is how many years does a native have to go to Washington, D.C. before we are heard on our own land? 300 <clears throat> million Indians are dead behind Christianity and our people were beat to believe a white man's ways, a way he himself will never admit to, blood liable. This is an example of what happens next. Christianity at its best. The Mormons, they sell alcohol out of Salt Lake City. I myself, I know I used to drive truck, semis for L.W. Miller, and I went and picked up the alcohol in Colorado near Denver and distributed it back to Salt Lake City. There was a saying here by Brian Fisher when this man talked of the great red nation and the native Indians. He showed just how, how ungrateful he is for his job. The American Family Association chief being racist correspondent Brian Fisher has already warned us about Barack Obama giving American lands back to Indians. I-N-J-U-N-S. In other words, he didn't just make fun of the great red nation, but he made fun of everybody he just happened to use us as an example but did not know he never belonged to them in the first place because he didn't have christian morals oh but did you know it never really belonged to them in the first place because they did not have christian morals that means that <clears throat> um those of you who believe in the bible um he don't really care about you either even though you do have Christian morals and you believe in the Bible, according to um, Brian Fisher, um, you know, what he's saying here is um, you're not white enough to be in the white man's world. That would mean Barack Obama too. Barack Obama is not white enough to, to um, be the president. And that's why Donald Trump is asking for his birth certificate. Well, if that was such a big issue, then maybe they should have looked at that before they voted for him because we all know that um, it's seven years in advance that they pick out a president to be at the White House. I myself, um, what I'd like each and every one of you to do, relatives, is to please um, all 1,000 tribes to agree on pulling the fiduciary duty of trustee status away from the federal government because uh, what that will do is give us back what is rightfully ours. Treaties were written worldwide and it took them, um, I, I believe, like a thousand years. But before every treaty, there was a war. Uh, if you look on my page and look at the treaties, you'll see that. <clears throat> How many years does a native have to go to Washington, D.C. before we are heard on our own land? You know, this is our land. 
and uh, if anybody should be heard first, it should be us. But because we're not heard, that's what I'm asking. The fiduciary duty be revoked on an international level. Fiduciary means to honor most respect. A fiduciary duty is a legal or ethical relationship or confidence of trust regarding the management of money or property between two or more parties. We need to pull this with over 1,000 tribes of the Red Nation. Corpus delight, delight means the body of the crime. What we need to do first is pull the fiduciary duty, prove what has went wrong, and bring up a charge. That's why I always post the blood liable. I will get back to the blood liable. The greatest lie of our history is the Indian Reorganization Act. This is where they wanted to, um, they were supposed to help our people, not kill our people. Instead, many of our people have died from this 1934 June 18th Reorganization Act. Um, they lied to our people, they continue to lie to our people today. Then we go on into the United Postal Union Operation. This is authorized under the treaty with every country in the world. That's why your mail gets sent worldwide. Relatives are gonna go into the termination letter Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, Part 4, Part 5. There's part, uh, actually five parts to this. There's more to it because of the, the um, Cobell case, James Arthur Ray for misusing our traditions, elderly abuse, and child sexual molestation. The reason for me standing up for our people and with our people is to see, it, see to it that nobody has to die behind what I say or what I do, except for me. If you don't like me, tell me. If you don't care for what I do, then you know don't pay attention. But those of us who do care for our seven generations and our people, we will stand up and we will help our people to the very best of our ability. If you're um, from another country and you say you like what we're doing, then support us, help us find that lawyer or, you know, in the laws where it says um, foreign countries can come here and start a corporation and rule an entire nation without telling the truth, you know. Prove to us that that, that can be done because unfortunately America is named after America Vespucci. This land does not belong to the white people, it belongs to the Red Nation. Over 300 million Indians have died through, through guns, wars, and death or intimidation by alcohol, drugs, suicide, poverty, and genocide, which causes our people to um, do child molestation, elderly abuse, sexual abuse, um, spousal abuse against one another, and it will lead to our traditional ways being abused. We too have a proud nation, and we too love each other. We don't want our people to drink and do drugs and be undereducated. However, it's the 8% dropout who are telling the federal government what to do, who are multimillionaires. This needs to be addressed on an international level as well. And my relatives, I know many of you say I should be in Washington, D.C. addressing this. However, like I said, 13 indigenous grandmothers were at Washington, D.C. Over 1,000 tribes have went to Washington, D.C. AIM marched across Washington, uh, the United States of America. <laughs> we'll give America a name because they want to be Americans. And um, they uh, were not heard and are not heard. So there's got to be a new way. And that new way is we must give back all birth certificates, social security cards in order to make that change. There is a lot of money for the great red nation and what that is is everything underground six inches underground to everything above ground belongs to us including those clothes that the multi-millionaires are wearing those are unpaid for to the red nation 
So you got to remember that everything and anything that is here, it belongs to us, no matter which way you look you look at it, because the federal government, we sign treaties with them and not the 5% rich. And if the government wants to listen to the 5% rich and not the Red Nation, then maybe it's a good idea that we do pull that fiduciary duty from the government and show the 5% rich just whose land that they're on. Those who are apples who do not want to be Indians and who are not proud of the great red nation are the 300 million people who died. Let us know and we will be gratefully to help you out. You, those who are adopted by white families and don't want nothing to do with your values or traditions, it might be a good idea for you right now to let us know so we can keep track of your names and remove you from Turtle Island because the point that we're trying to make here is we are proud of our songs and our dances, our traditional ways. We're grateful for the 300 million Indians who died. They stood up for our people. It wasn't our fault that you was given away to social security, our welfare, or to the white people. If it wasn't for drinking and drugs, we'd never have this problem. These are things that you must take a look at before you disown our people. But if you choose to disown us anyway, there's nothing we can do about it because our people are poor, humble people who believe in the Creator. We never meant any harm to come upon the great red nation or our people. Our mothers and fathers are people who are just like you. They don't have all the right answers, but they do know that they belong to the red nation. And that's all it takes sometimes. Those of you who drink and do drugs and want to believe in the white man's way of life, while well, you remember that America is the reason why our people are dead. It's the same reason why our traditional values are slowly disappearing. It's the same very exact reason why you don't know your tr your family history, your lineage to your, your grandmothers, your grandfathers. You might even not know anything about anything, but yet you want to disown your very own people. And those who are proud to be part of the Great Red Nation, I strongly encourage you to please start posting Indian songs on your webpage and start learning them. Teach them to your little children and um, be proud, be, be a proud nation. I love you, my relatives. From Wundi, South Dakota.